Here you go. Focus, no? Sure. It's just a diversion ditch you can get it off of the trail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the thing, like use water to do work for you. See, this is now much easier for me to, uh -huh. to find what the water wants to do. Where's my it's high spot. There, though. A lot of times if you're digging a ditch and you don't know if you dug it to the right angle that you want, just take a bucket of water and dump it in the ditch and see what it's doing. And then you put but, uh, this is a this is a first tryout. it's a first stage excavation and then you'll see from here what's working what isn't does is it worth your while are you gonna oh, yeah. that's that's all small enough that if you decide to fill that up it would be no big deal that's what Tish wanted to line the whole thing line it with rocks is that that would work that yeah would sure so why not yeah so that's that's pretty much that's our oh, cool. that would be. This is this is first your first day of doing spring development, and now you by no means are done with what this spring is going to need. You're just at a point where you're going to discover what's next. Yeah. But you have to go away and leave it alone for a little while and just see what it does and mm -hmm. see does it maintain this level? Does it clear out easily? Um, all of those types of things. So right, so a lot of that muck is just from that's just from us out. having dug it up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good flow rate. I mean, that flow rate is serious. Yeah. I don't know. What would you it guess? picked up from yeah. us mm. from us excavating. It is what my inference is from yeah. what we're seeing right now. And that is often the case when you do dig them up. Someone was asking that. Is that you, Maggie? I don't remember. I think you might have asked was, that so it I was might pick up. About like what would... Right, like what would happen with the flow? Yeah. yeah, it does. It does sometimes increase in volume. I keep thinking for sure. Not to where it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, yeah, like maybe yeah. a half gallon more or something, you know, yeah. Well, there's that, yeah. there's Geyser. that. Yeah. That's the cool. Oh, wow. Hold on a second. I'm going to do a few different things. I want that to flow a lot. Yeah. Just because in a high flow thing, what that's going to do, look at where it's going to go. Go back down there. It'll go back to the, it's going to go, mm -hmm. no, it'll go, yeah, back. Mm, I think it'll go it's here. Or the it's about the summer, like, playing with rocks in New Hampshire. The tip of the shovel. Yeah. It's nice and yeah. Maybe the other way? Is the other way? I like this side though. Once it got into a high flow situation. Huh. Yeah, that's true. I like the side for coming over. So, it's one of those elements of this where I would wait and see what this does after the spring flows. And we might, you might even in the long run, we might have it come down here and then Diverted. Yeah, yeah. Sort of to a yeah, make it go. Is that what you were thinking of doing? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Then go ahead and keep playing with it like you were. That's fine. I just didn't want it to just end up in that. But that's cool to make it go like that. That's good. Yep, that makes sense. And you have a big pond down there. Yeah, right. Or it just perks into the ground. Then just let it go straight? Well, it's diff you'd have to dig through this mound to let it go. It wouldn't, you're not going to let it go straight. You're going to have to help it. Yeah. So it would be, so going down here. Whoa. Okay. And so it would be a lot less digging. Well, it's because everyone's yeah. plunging in. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but it's going in some hole, because look at this. There's like yeah. no moisture there. Mm -hmm. It's filling up some critters' home, probably. Mm -hmm. Are dig you digging it out more? No, I'm, I'm just filling it in with we some, are. <laughs> some rocks. Just to muck it out, or? Yeah. Well, didn't you say like when you find stone, and when you find it coming out of stone? Oh, well, this, this spring is not going to be one where we're likely to hit rock. This okay. is probably ways away from where the actual rock is, the rock seam that this is coming out okay. from. So, and does the flow vary with season or not even Well, absolutely. The flow is going to vary a lot oh, depending on spark? rainy season or not. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. but how cool, cool. Do they you can smell that. Um, it's not, well, they're just, it's, it? it's where, it's where the aquifer is coming yeah. out of the ground. So yeah. this could become a, a first order perennial flowing stream, but it doesn't, it goes back into the ground. So this is like where a stream starts. How deep down does it start? Well, it's coming, this is where it's meeting the surface. So it's not that it's that deep oh, down. Oh, it's, it's, it's coming. It's running underwater. Right. But like underground. running, I it's guess you can't even rock. It's following a rock seam. So uh -huh. underneath this soil, there's a, a there's a rock face, and, and, and it's finding it's it's coming out from the rock, rock. from underground. 
Okay. So it's not, really nice. so right here, it's, it it's right here. So that's, that's right. why I keep saying it's not deep because we're right at right where here. it's coming out. Right. So okay. depth would refer to like a well. How far down would you have to go to get water? Uh -huh. But what this is, this is where water is coming out of the ground naturally. And it's on the, on the top yeah, of a rock right? or under or side or it all depends on the moment? Yeah. Depends on the geology. Okay. It's finding a geologic seam that it comes out through. So the, so the aquifer is an underground lake and that underground lake is finding oh. a geologic seam where it can then like, oh, it's pushing good. itself out from okay, underground. underground lake. Yeah, it's a back, right. That's, a, that's what you're seeing when you're seeing a stream or a spring, is it's where a huge underground water reservoir is just coming out at that point. So and that could be like, this we big, have no yeah, idea how some... far away from here it could be. Right. It could be close, it's, it could be it's, far. It's, well, it's, it's really close. It's, it's, it's definitely down. right here, but as to how big it is. <laughs> no, but it could be flowing underground for a bit before it hits the surface point. Well, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Fair yeah, yeah. So it's under... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's underground for a ways. Like, who knows how big it is. Yeah. Like, this lake could be yeah. going for miles in this landscape. Um, this could be all one aquifer. Yeah. Those things are generally mapped. So, when we say an aquifer, that's what it is, is the underground. It's the underground the reservoir, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And that, that obviously changes by how much rain comes in and soaks through down into it. Right, like shortly after a rain uh -huh. event, your aquifer is going to surge and springs are going to pop up that then no, will dry up oftentimes within a couple days. Uh -huh. this, will be this spring, the people are saying they haven't always no, seen it flowing, so that's another reason why we're not uh -huh. sure how serious we're going to get about excavating I've it. I've always seen it bubbling, but uh -huh. not as much as it has been the last week or two. Right. Right. Yeah. So if it is but perennial, again, then it's well worth your while to develop your it. Smaller. And that's this is like a pilot and run of bigger. developing it so that you could dip a bottle in it and get drinking water from it. But the other thing you could do with this in the long run is plumb it with three-quarter inch black aqua pipe to a 500-gallon cistern that sits higher than an outdoor shower, an outdoor kitchen, or an outdoor, you know, shower facility like tense. that. Um, hand washing stations uh -huh. for where you know for where there are any outhouses or anything. So a spring so a spring can either be something you just dig out like this and you come up and dip from it and get a drink, or you can plumb it and run all kinds of domestic systems off of it because it's higher in your land. And so a high up spring has good gravity feeding potential. So they're particularly exciting and valuable asset on a property to consider. Did the air and this bubbles? is the first stage of finding out. The air bubbles is just telling us that we opened up probably some crayfish channels. Crayfish do a lot to move where springs actually come out of the ground oftentimes because they do a lot of tunneling. It can be frustrating sometimes because they'll reroute something that you did a bunch of work on <laughs> and it dries up and then it shows up somewhere else. Sometimes you're somewhat in a, a bit, of a, I mean, bit of a battle with crayfish. So there's a lot of crayfish that are... Subterranean. They're, yeah, and they're making, and they'll make those little, those little mounds look kind of like giant worm castings. Like it'll be like a little mound that you'll see. That's a, that's a crayfish tunnel, crayfish home. Can they move through land to on land? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Once you dig a hole, you can't like not dig it. I love playing with rocks. I got to, when I did a season of trail work, I ended up for a week working with this rock. Yeah. And we just had so much fun. Kind of like just pounding right, on rocks. Be living in a rocks are really, really fun. Yeah, they're, they especially 